so, so we got some great news. We just published a really exciting paper, Nature Scientific Reports, and this paper sheds new light about our shared human story. But first, let's set the stage because this happened a very long time ago. Let's go back to the Stone Age in Africa about 100,000 years ago. And this era was filled with treacherous events, volcanoes erupting, mega droughts shifting east to west Africa and then back to the east again. And people had to move back and forth ac across the continent. And at this time, Africa was fairly sparsely populated and mostly hunter-gatherer groups who were then experimenting with new art and fishing technologies. And they were likely speaking early click-based languages. But during that intense time of innovation, but also ecological catastrophes, families were moving apart, they were separating, and sometimes they never even reconnected. Well, now we have reconnected them. We discovered a unique maternal lineage from that era 100,000 years ago. That's long before Europeans, Asians, Native Americans, and even Australians existed. That's right, that's a long time ago. And so what do we mean by maternal lineage? Most people are familiar with genetic testing, but few people know about mitochondrial DNA. Well, it's a part of your DNA that's only passed down from mothers, so it doesn't get mixed up with your father's DNA. Unlike traditional DNA testing, it's, it's like a laser beacon into the ancient past. See these seven lineages? We call them haplogroups, but you can think of them as kind of like genetic clans. These seven were thought to capture all of human maternal history. For example, this one, which we call L3, contains everyone outside Africa in Europe, Asia, America, and even Australia. Well, check this out. This is the lost eighth clan that we just rediscovered. We sifted through hundreds of thousands of samples to find it. It's named L7, and it's so rare that only 19 people in the world are known to have it. L7 was only discovered after 40 years of searching, and now it's the third oldest group in the entire tree. 100,000 years old, that's two thirds of the entire maternal history of humanity. So it's old, but how rare is it? This haplogroup is so rare that one customer within it is 80,000 years removed from everyone else in the database, except for a 15,000 year old sample, an ancient sample from Malawi. Wow. Members of haplogroup L7 are stewards of a rare and ancient lineage. L7 tells the story of the cradle of humanity in East Africa, where it still exists today. The people who have it in the highest frequency are the Sandawi foragers of Tanzania who speak a click-based language. We think their ancestors escaped a massive drought and volcanic eruption in the East African rift system by moving into the African Great Lakes region about 90,000 years ago. How many other lost lineages are out there waiting to be rediscovered? You can find out. Join the Million Mito Project by testing your mitochondrial DNA and your sequence will become part of the largest human phylogenetic tree ever built. It's higher resolution than anything else like it, up to 20 times, and it corrects many mistakes in the previous tree, including this L7 group, which had gone unnoticed for decades. The Million Mito Project is the beginning of a new reorganized tree of womankind Come join us on this journey of discovery.